enterprise at Ma'o Farms. This is Kamala Inos. And, and Mao Farms is the largest organic farm model. Um, Kamala, this is a point again from, from websites. Kamala's expertise in sustainable practices drew the attention of the White House, who tapped him to sit on the Asian American and Pacific Islanders Advisory Council. He has a bachelor's degree in Hawaiian studies and a master's in urban and regional planning. Here's what I remember about Kamala and, and some other things that I think you should know. He was a student of mine that took Hawaiian Studies 107 um, a, a long number of years ago, I think. Um, I do remember what kind of student he was. We have a word in, in, in Hawaii, Eleo. Eleo is someone who is enterprising and alert, but in a really, really wonderful kind of way, in a way that, that sort of makes the classroom um, a wonderful encounter for everyone in it. He was a teacher in that classroom of 35 or 40 students that we had that semester. And here's the thing that, um, that is really clear about his work at Mao Farm. It's, it's not only about cultivating um, plants. This whole experience is about cultivating other people and, and cultivating leadership. And the things that he has said to the press, things that he has said that, that have been quoted, clearly indicate that Kamala understands that it is about reintegrating our young people with the land in, 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 in the same kinds of meaningful ways in which we were integrated with the land 200, 300 years ago. Um, it is really where this movement is going. It is where the Hawaiian movement is going. It is the reason for Hawaiian studies. It is the reason for this curriculum. It is really the prime directive uh, for what we do. And so I am grateful to have you here tonight. Come on in.